I am taking you on my first trip to Cooper Street Antique Mall in Arlington, Texas. First of all, look at the storefront. It got me really excited because it was so big and it looks so nice. Okay, so the first booth I stopped at here had some Shawnee and I had to get footage of some of the Shawnee items in it because they were so stinking cute. Uh, they did have some Shawnee bears and some cats and some pigs. Those pigs are adorable. Um, they were in a case, so I, I don't think I checked the price, but they were retail prices. They were not anything I could have resold, which is fine. Then I saw these Lusterware birds from Japan. It's a creamer and sugar set. And it was $25, I believe, which is a little bit high for me for resale as well. Then I had to show you guys this bedpan. Relax bedpan. Now, can somebody explain to me how you could possibly relax while using that thing? I certainly don't think I could. <laughs> but I had to show it to you guys nonetheless because, you know, it's quirky and weird. And, and we all like that, don't we? That fan is really cool. Um, I do want to get one of those for myself. Maybe not that model. It doesn't have to be, you know, like rare or pricey. But I want to use like an industrial fan um, in my bathroom, which I know sounds weird. But I live in an older house and uh, we don't have um, a really good uh, exhaust in that bathroom. And I want to get a little fan in there to kind of get air circulating, like after you take a hot shower or whatever. Um, our house was built, built in 1958, so it definitely, you know, has room for some improvements. But I was thinking, how cool would it be? The bathroom itself is like gray. I just thought it would be cool with a really big industrial fan in it. Those gloves were beautiful. There were some um, evening gloves. I loved everything in this booth. Uh, they had some phenomenal glass, which you're going to see here in a minute. I loved this vanity set. I think it was a pretty good price. I want to say it was like $25 or $30 for all. I think it was four pieces. Um, just beautiful. Okay, so this is some of the most amazing glass I've ever seen. Now, I talked about Glass Heaven at another one of my favorite haunts, which is East Fort Mall. That has a booth full of a lot of mid-century glass. But, guys, I, I hate to say it, but this booth probably wowed me even more um you have this whole area of fenton a lot of silver crest there that beautiful hand painted um milk glass i love that i want to say those were 25 or 30 each i'm trying to move it to see wait did i just see they were 12. they might have had damage um because otherwise i think i probably would have gotten them I was also distracted by all this beautiful colored glass as well. Oh my gosh. So one thing I really loved about this booth is they organized everything by glass maker. Almost everything. I think all of the really rare pieces were. And there is a beautiful Fenton boot. Look at that beautiful yellow opalescent. Um, there's a couple amber boots. Look at the blue. Oh my gosh, guys. It was just beautiful. I, I wanted to buy all of it, but again, their prices were for retail um, for the most part. That perfume bottles, 28 for instance. Um, so I admired a lot of these things, but I, I didn't get very much as far as glass. Look at this. Look at this beautiful Fenton Carnival glass down here. I love that lattice work bowl. I think it's beautiful. Okay, this pitcher and glasses, these are um, the Marigold Butterfly and Berries pattern. And, oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. Um, the butterflies are just beautiful on it. I love that set. And there is a Fenton Amberina dish. I have sold that dish before. And back there is a Westmoreland dish. I think I'd get a little bit closer to show you this black dish. It's so pretty. It is hand-painted. And it has a little farmer boy and his dog. So, so cute. I love that plate though. Even if it didn't have the um, the art on it, I would love it. There's a little swung vase. Again, we're still in the Fenton section. Um, I can't remember if this is still Fenton. Yeah, it is. Uh, there's a butterfly there. This was the Carnival Glass selection. Oh my gosh, just beautiful pieces here. I mean, just look, absolutely stunning. 
I just wrote, we may have moved on to the Indiana glass. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm admiring it as I try to think. Thinking is hard today as well. Yeah, I do believe this is the Indiana glass section. I apologize if I confused you at first. Oh my gosh, look at the blues. Imperial. Yes, okay. So this was the Imperial selection. I thought that was cool, that paperweight. That advertising paperweight is really cool. Look at that. It is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I do believe that's a decanter. This was my favorite piece that I saw all day. Um, it has ram head handles. That was almost a tongue twister. Um, just absolutely beautiful. Look at the opalescence of it. Look at the glow. I mean, it's not really glow, it's shine, but look at it. It is so pretty. Uh, the swan is beautiful as well. Uh, that black dish I have sold before. There's some more glasses. Um, I don't believe there's any amberina here, but it's beautiful red carnival glass. Just phenomenal. Beautiful. That red dish is also just stunning. I had to go back to that for a second because I loved it and I wanted to take a picture for it. A picture of it so I could remember how pretty it was. Um, having said all this, I will be going back um, because I, I want to check everything else out. Oh my gosh, I love that as well with the birds. Um, I do believe it's a robin. Yes, it's a robin. Um, those were $24 a glass. Here is some yellow depression glass or amber, um, as it is appropriately called. It was separate from the other depression glass. I didn't investigate it to find out if it was um, more of a rare uh, set or not. To be honest, I was just fascinated by all the carnival and the other glass that I forgot to go back and check out the depression glass, but I definitely will next time. That creamer and sugar is beautiful. It's blue opalescent, as you can see there. I don't think these were... I think this was just miscellaneous glass. I don't think any of these were um, Imperial or Indiana or Fenton, but I could be wrong. Yeah, that says green egg dish. Look how pretty it is though, guys. I don't come across green opalescent dishes very often, so I definitely had to check that out. I was definitely a little bit afraid of dropping anything. <laughs> um, there's Ellie Smith. Beautiful amberina dish there. I love those candlesticks. They have dolphins at the base. I loved that iridescent clear glass set. Oh my gosh, phenomenal. I think I was trying to reach the price. It was $75 for the set, which is not bad. Um, it does say there were five tumblers, so that's not bad for what that is. This table is all art glass, and I wanted almost everything on it. Let me know if you can guess which piece I wanted the most. You've got a duck or a Canadian goose. Um, you have a horse tray. I love that little tray. You have a couple asses. Those asses are cute. There's a red one and a blue one. Unfortunately, I did not have my black light with me, but I think that that donkey to the right does glow. I was trying to give you a better view of that dish because I love it. There's a beautiful goldfish um, there as well, as well as an angelfish. Uh, there were some geese uh, pieces that were slide glass. Those were beautiful as well. I love that horse dish. And it was labeled as being Murano, and it was only $48. So, I mean, that's a good price for that, I think. It's really well done. Those cats, oh my gosh. So the cats, I think they are Viking. I will show you here in a second. I had not seen that pilgrim deer before and I love it. Um, this was an amber owl. I refrained, I did not buy that, even though I wanted to. Um, I do not need to buy myself anything else. Um, yeah, that was 72 for the, the set. Just beautiful, love those cats. And I'm focusing on the owl again, just because I wanted to. Trying to show you a little bit more of the glass back there. I think most of those were Viking and Pilgrim, but I, I don't remember, to be honest. Now that I'm looking at that duck, I wonder if that duck glows. It probably does. Looks like that duck is mainly cadmium. I'm going to have to go back with my black light. Yeah, I had to look at the ass again. 
He was 55. Oh, he's high C by Fenton. Um, beautiful. I mean, I know you wouldn't consider a donkey like that beautiful, but I do. The glass is just beautiful. Okay, and I am still in the same booth, actually, guys. Their booth went on for quite a bit. The last thing I'm going to show you is this amazing biking horse uh, that I'm now going to covet until the end of time. It's just stunning. Hey, friends. Hello, fellow vintage lovers. Oh, my goodness. I've missed you guys so much. Um, as most of you know, um, if you've been to my live sales recently, we had family in town last week, and it's just been super, super busy. I haven't had time to go outsourcing, um, you know, since last week up until today that is um so i went to a new to me antique mall in arlington which is about 40 45 minutes away from my house and oh my gosh guys it was amazing there were so many beautiful things at cooper street antique mall and i think in the two hours i spent there i maybe got th through a third of it um, I will definitely be going back, hopefully with a friend or somebody to help me carry stuff because that's my only complaint about that antique mall. And, and I do understand why, but they don't have carts or, or baskets um, to help you carry stuff. So every time I found, you know, more than a few things, I would have to run up to the front and have them put it away for me, which is fine. I mean, who doesn't need the exercise, right? But... Um, you know, it was a lot of of walking and a lot of time spent uh, going back and forth, which, again, I mean, it's not even really a complaint. I think they do it because they have so many high-end items at that antique mall. Oh, my gosh, guys. So, as you saw, there were so many beautiful vintage and antique glass pieces. I, I just couldn't believe it. Absolutely phenomenal selection. I saw so many things I've never seen before. The... Um, the favorite thing that I saw was a Viking horse. Um, it was a blue horse, very mid-century looking horse with a very, um, you know, curly mane and tail and the long legs. Oh my gosh, guys, I, I wanted to get that for myself so bad, but I've already bought myself some Christmas presents. Thanks to Rebecca and Jason at Mama's Treasures, I'm getting an amazing Lucite set from them. So, no, I don't need to buy myself anything else but I did manage to pick up a few things when I was there and I do also want to show you I've got three things that I picked up on high bid that are over here that I'm going to show you as well I did present them at the live sale yesterday but I thought you know what I'm going to go ahead and show them again I know some of you like to see um, items that I picked up on high bid so I'm going to have to do a separate video on everything else that I picked up on high bid um, at this point I think it was about 10 days ago so it's been a while Anyway, I'm just super excited to show you what I got. But like I said, I think I'm going to start here with the items that I got um, on high bit. And that is these three pieces here. This is Fire King and this is Jadeite. Sorry guys, I'm already losing light. It's kind of a cloudy day here in Dallas. So please excuse the light blocking that's occurring. Um, but unfortunately, they only had one. I got this in a lot of glass. And to be honest with you, the Jadeite is the reason why I got this lot or probably one of the main reasons. Um, this is Anchor Hawking Fire King, and this is the Alice pattern with these beautiful flowers on it. It is in excellent shape. There's no chips or scratches on it whatsoever. I do know that some of you collect jadeite, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to show it, um, and I'm going to say this like I do in all of my prior videos. If you see something you're interested in this video, you can always reach out to me calypsoantiques at gmail.com or you can dm me on instagram all that information is at the end of the video but i wanted to mention that because i know some of you do collect jadeite you may not have made it to the sale so i thought i would show it here um this is a dinner plate i think it was nine inches in diameter it's just absolutely beautiful love jadeite okay then i got this and this is indiana glass this is amberina and this is their um pedestal dish, uh, compote, huge wine goblet, whatever you want it to be. And this is the calla lily pattern. Um, this dish is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. It does have a great glow to it. Let me show you. It's phenomenal. Okay, guys, look at this glow. 
I told you it's phenomenal. Um, I do believe that when I showed this yesterday, you could not see that there was cadmium around the calla lilies going around it, but oh my gosh, this is a beautiful piece. It has an amazing glow. This would look incredible um, in a black lighted curio. Oh my goodness. Uh, I just love this. It's beautiful. I mean, look at the stem here. Just absolutely stunning. And again, Indiana glass. And I did show this yesterday in the live sale, but like the jadeite, I felt like I needed to show it again because it's so phenomenal. Then the last thing I'm going to show from high bid, at least for today, um, is this beautiful, this is also Anchor Hawking um, Fire King. And this is a butter dish or a cheese dish. It, it can be whatever you want it to be. Um, I think it's phenomenal for Christmas because it's got this emerald green color base and then this really pretty, um, quite elegant top. I just love this. I think it's just so pretty. Okay, so everything else I got at Cooper Street Antique Mall. I'm going to go ahead and start. Where am I going to start? I'm going to start with these. So I got these two tea towels. I'm not going to unfold them. Um, but they are so cute and they're in excellent shape. Now, I have to admit, I've gotten a little pickier when it comes to linens. And I probably don't need to be buying any. But sometimes I can't help myself. Especially when I see something like these ducks. So you had this female duck. Uh, she's grocery shopping, like all good duck mamas do. And then you have another duck, and this duck is sewing. I'm going to see if I can show you without unwrapping it. Yeah, so here's a little sewing basket here. But how cute are these guys? Oh my gosh, I had to. You know, I have, could be hundreds, um, at least, probably close to a hundred at the very least, linens that um, I need to iron and I need to clean. And... I kept telling myself, I'm not going to buy any more until I get that done. But then I saw those and I was like, I, I have to get them. They're absolutely adorable. And they're like I said, they're in excellent shape. I did not notice um, any damage on them at all. How stinking cute are those? Okay, now then I got these. Now, this is the perfect example of me and my addiction to all things vintage especially when it comes to cute animals. Um, these are Christmas ornaments and they're they're pretty old and they're not in great shape. But I, I mean, I just couldn't resist, guys. I saw this poodle and I saw the cat and I thought, I don't care what kind of shape they're in. If I can't clean them up, um, I'll keep them for myself because they're adorable. Uh, they do have their original strings on there. I'm not sure how old they are. I have not tried to research them at all, but look at this poodle. Um, I have decided I'm going to keep these two for myself. Well, one for me and one for a friend because I collect poodles and my friend collects kitties. And they're not in great condition, so I'm not sure if I could sell them. But are they not adorable? I've been posing them like, like they're hugging because that's what good friends do, right? But th that's the perfect example of me picking up um, a stray or something not in the best condition because I think it's cute. It happens a lot. I mean, I think they were worth it because they're really old and they're really cute. But I know some of you are going to be like, why did she do that? I don't know. You're going to look at that face and you're going to agree with me, right? I think you are. Okay. Then, oh my gosh, I picked up this amethyst glass. Now, I think this is also um, Tierra Indiana glass. I think it's, this is the Monarch pattern. Not 100% sure. I did a quick Google lens when I was at Cooper Street, and I believe that was the closest match that I could find to this. This is another butter dish. Coincidentally, that's the first butter dish I've ever gotten, so this is the second. Um, this one is a lot larger, and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I think you can see the sparkle and the shine. Amethyst glass is so pretty, guys. Purple is my favorite color, so whenever I see something like this, to get it. And even the ladies behind the counter kind of gaps, gasped. Words are hard today, as usual, um, when they saw it because they thought it was absolutely beautiful as well. So again, I think this is Tierra. I'm not quite sure how old it is. No damage. Look at the shine. Just absolutely beautiful. Love it. Okay, and then the next thing I want to show you is this art glass. Um, 
this could possibly be Murano. I'm not sure about that. Um, it is an Amberina, and it does have the Bulacanti, which is the controlled bubbling. Um, I, you know, this obviously it is an ashtray, but it could be used for so many different things. Um, this would look great in a black lit curio as well. Um, it would look great. The, a lot of it is red, so it'd be great for Christmas too. Um, I know we're getting close to that, so maybe not for this year, but um, it's just so, so pretty. I'm going to see if I can get the black light to show you the glow in it. Now, most of the glow in this one is at the bottom. Uh, I think you can kind of see it. Yeah, I think you can. This one is a little bit harder to see because most of it is there at the bottom, but I think you get the idea. It does light up a little bit down there. Just really cool piece of glass. You know, I'm getting a little bit bolder in purchasing, um, you know, a little bit higher priced uh, glass items when I think they're worth it. And I, I think this is definitely worth it. I think it's beautiful. Of course, now it has my fingerprints all over it, but that's okay. That could easily be taken care of. Just beautiful. Love it. Okay. Apparently, I can't get enough of Christmas either. I don't know. Are you guys the same way? When I go to my favorite spots, you know, they still have Christmas. We still have, what, a little over 10 days? What is it, 11 days, I think? Yeah, 11 days. So people are still selling it. So when I see things like this, I'm going to pick them up. Um, this is a tree topper. I'm not going to move her because it took me a second to get her to stand up the way she is. But she has a ceramic face. Um, she is an angel. She does have fabric wings. And she's got these glorious yellow feathers all over her. She is so, so cute. I absolutely love her. I'm pretty sure she's a made in Japan piece. That's what she looks like. She's in really good shape considering how old she is. And I love her. I love the fact she has yellow feathers. She's just super, super cool. So I got her. Then I got three Christmas gift cards. I got this. I think these are all mid-century. Um, I got this snowman that says Cheerio. I got this really pretty um, house in the snow scene for Christmas. I'm trying to remember if there's anything written in these. Nope, just to and from, I believe, in all of them. Yeah, to and from. And then I got this one, these carolers. How cool is that? Oh, and this one actually says, with every good wish for your happiness. How cute are those? So, I'm continuing to buy Christmas. Now, if nobody is interested now because they're not going to get it in time for Christmas, I totally get it. I can keep these things until next year. Happy to do so because, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Then I got these other ornaments. Um, I got this really pretty orange butterfly. I think it looks kind of cool with her. What do you guys think? This is older. I don't know if it's a handmade piece or not, but you can tell by looking at it. I mean, look at the paper. So cool. I love it. And this is another one. It's amazing that it is, you know, as intact as it is. It does have a few issues, but that's okay. It's still really pretty, I think. Love it. Then this is an old cellophane ornament. Um, it came with that other ornament. I might not have picked this up separately. I mean, I don't know. It definitely matches, but here um, is a little hook on it. Just a little, a cool little thing. So I had to go ahead and get that. Definitely very vintage. Then I got this fabric pin. Now, I don't know if this would be considered like a fabric brooch or not, but as you can see here, it's definitely a pin. It, I mean, I just don't know, but I think it's adorable. Um, it's definitely got age to it, as you can see here, and it is a cute snowman, and I love it. I think it's so cute. So I picked that one up too. Oh, and then I got this other little Christmas card. Christmas wishes. I just thought she was precious, so I went ahead and grabbed her as well. I'm trying to remember if she was um, an advertising card. I can't quite remember, but she's got pansies, and she certainly is cute. And look, it's like unintentional matchy-matchy going on here. It's weird how that happens. Uh, Gina said that that happens to her too, so... I don't know, I guess your eyes are drawn to certain colors on certain days. I'm not quite sure what the psychology is behind it, but I absolutely love it. Okay, let me make 
room for these pieces of sheet music because they both deserve to be highlighted. One of them, this one, Melody of Love, is from 1903. And this is just absolutely beautiful. It's an excellent shape. I love it. I love the illustration on it. I'm trying to be really careful here. Both of these are in great shape without having, um, you know, crushed corners or corners that are flapped over. Yeah, 1903. So there you go, guys, 118-year-old piece of sheet music, and it's beautiful. I just love it. The other one I got, and this isn't sheet music. This is actually part of a program. This is from Streetcar Named Desire when it was on Broadway. Um, as you can see here, it won the Pulitzer and the Critics Award. And this is, unfortunately, just the, I think it's the first page. But I thought it was really, really cool. It could be that maybe they gave only this out. I, I just don't know. But it has the cast listed here. I just thought it was really cool. Again, love the illustration. Love Streetcar Named Desire. I mean, I just had to. How cool is that? Okay. Then I also picked up some brooches. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. I got this little uh, felt and beaded uh, tree. I don't know if it was originally an ornament or not. It is definitely handmade. I just thought it was cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there with the angel. Okay, back to the brooches. So I got four brooches today. I got this magnificent metal and enamel brooch. This is a really cool black and white flower. I love the details on this. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I love the separation. Really, really cool. This may be one of my favorite metal um, and enamel flower brooches I've ever picked up just because of the design. It's just really, really cool. Okay, then I picked up this. This is so cool. So this is Lucite, and it is a rose. It is so, so cool. I was shocked when I found it. I think I actually found all four of these in the same booth, which doesn't happen very often, but how cool is that? that it's lucite and I love the 3d effect of it it's just so so cool love book if you're watching this I know you're gonna love that too um then I got this brooch and this is a Yorkie I'm pretty sure it's a Yorkie um with green rhinestone eyes and I just thought it was cute this little mid-century looking pupper I just now noticed that it does have a marking. Unfortunately, I can't read it. Oh, is it Avon? I think it might be Avon. But how cute is that pupper? Had to get him. Then I got this. Now, I may be the only one that appreciates this. But I thought this gold tone and enamel ostrich was just adorable. Um, it has pink rhinestone eyes. Uh, the paint on it is phenomenal. Let me show you the feet. How cute is this? You know, I, I pretty much love all animals, including, oh my gosh, see, I didn't think this one was marked either. This tells you how good phone cameras are. I cannot read it. I'll have to look at it with a loop later, but how cute is that? Love him. Aren't those eyes the cutest? Okay, then I had to get these kitties because, well, I mean, look at them. These cats are so cute. They're pretty tiny. But what they, they're so cute that they make up for it and how cute they are. Uh, they're both Japan. What a shocker. Um, here is the first one. Looking over at this one. They both have side eye going. Look at that. So cute. Um, they do have all their petals. They're in great shape. And they're just two adorable little kittens. So I had to get them. Then I got these Joseph's Originals. These are flocked bluebirds. I had not seen these before, so I had to get them. They're in great shape. I did not notice any of their flocking missing. I do believe they are marked. Yeah, Joseph's Originals here. And they're so cute. Look at the faces. How cute is this chick? I just love it. Adorable. I mean, if you saw him in an antique mall, would you be able to resist him? Okay, then I got this. Oh my gosh. So I got this small ladyhead vase because I know uh, you guys do love your ladyheads. And she 
she needs to be cleaned a little bit, which I will do before I offer her for sale. Uh, she is a narco. And here is the stamp. She's from 1962. She's in great shape. I did not notice any damage on her. She's a little dirty, but I'm pretty sure I can get that all cleaned up. Her nails are good. Her eyelashes are good. Her earrings are good. Um, she's just an adorable little lady head face, so I had to get her. And then I did pick up some postcards. Now, there will be a separate video. I did go to one estate sale last week, and it was listed as being ephemera, 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 and it was. Um, I did pick up quite a few postcards there because there were tables of postcards. Um, I have not had a chance to go through them yet, but I am going to be showing them um, in a video to you, hopefully by the end of this week. Um, but these are the ones I picked up today, and I do believe these are all from the early 1900s. Um, a couple of them could be a little bit older, but that seemed to kind of be the general time frame. Um, this one is just some really pretty uh, foil roses. And I don't believe this one has a postmark date. It does not. I really want to read these. I, I like to read them whenever I find them, um, if they're written on, because I love to, you know, kind of think about the people writing them and what they were going through at the time. Um, to you, little darling baby. Um, I'm sorry, I moved on to this one. This one is puffy, and it's amazing, this bluebird and that rose. This one is in excellent shape. Um, Cartolina. I'm trying to figure out what country this is. Oh, made in Germany. I didn't have to figure it out on my own. Um, anyway, I just thought that that was a really pretty card, so I did go ahead and get that. And I know it's still a while away because we still have to get through Easter, New Year's, Valentine's, but I did go ahead and pick up two Easter postcards because I thought they were really pretty. This one has a cross and the lilies. Um, really pretty there. Again, these are all similar in age from what I can tell. That one is just really pretty. And then, of course, this chick. Um, this one is also foil and glitter. Super, super cute. Really, really pretty. Um, gosh. The ones I was going through there are pretty much all from the early 1900s. 1908. So this one is as well. But isn't that just beautiful? I love it. Oh, and I almost forgot the two little golden books that I picked up. Um, this one is not the first edition of Bambi, but it's it's an early one. This is from 1948, and it is so cute, of course. I know that there are obviously more modern versions, but I just I like the look of this. You know, you can tell how vintage it is looking at the pages. Uh, here's the copyright here. Yeah, 1941, 1948. The original was 1928. How cute is this book? Of course, the owl is my favorite part. But super, super cute. And then I got this. I have to admit, this one reminded me of my grandmother. Because manners was something that was very important to her. And she made sure that her children and grandchildren knew all about manners. Um, of course, I love the giraffe on the cover. This one I will probably read. <laughs> it's super cute. So this one's 1962. Look at the bear. So, so cute. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Oh, perfect. Open it up to the giraffe. When your friends leave, thank them for coming to your party. Yes, it's very important. Help all your friends to join in the fun. If a friend is shy, be especially kind and help them make friends with the others. Ask your friends what games they would like to play. Oh, it's it's so stinking cute. I love it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. And like I said earlier, I certainly have missed you guys. Uh, we are not having our Wednesday sale tomorrow, but we will be back on Thursday on Gina's channel. We're going to do a sale uh, with Jen Eats, and it will be at 530 Eastern, which is 430 Central, which is 230 Pacific. And then on Friday in... Um, instead of doing the Wednesday sale, again, words are hard today. I will be having a sale on my channel with Gina um, on Friday afternoon. It'll be at 5 Eastern, 4 Central, 2 Pacific. I hope to see you guys at both of the sales if you can make it. And I hope everybody is having a good Tuesday. And I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.